Mama, isa po kasi ang sektor ng agrikultura sa dapat pagkukulan ng pag Pansin ma'am, no? Dr. Arisa, pagdating sa technology, ano po yung mungkahin yung solusyon patungkol dyan? Bukod from uh, sa inyong uh, uh, kasanayan bilang isang uh, doktor, tapos kung meron kayong may babahagi nga ma'am dyan sa agricultural technology, Dr. Arisa. Well, the law itself, by the way, uh, NIC was created by uh, under the Law Republic Act 11293, also known as the Philippine Innovation Act and The act, no, it in itself discuss about agri-related technology. In fact, um, aside from giving them uh ease of doing business and and uh, of course the proper training to become really a a, a good uh, to have a good a uh, commercial output. Meron po tayo mga dinadraft na yon na um na mga inaayos, no, may mga inaayos na like for example, uh, yung uh, All commercial banks, for instance, should have at least uh, a certain percentage of their uh, borrowings go to agri-based technologies. Because uh, whether we like it or not, ang the biggest uh, burden or hindrance kaya hindi nagpopopagate ito is uh, because of lack of funding. No? Now, this is on the national level. Ginagawa talaga nila ng paraan kung paano magkakaroon ng funding, including ano, uh, PPP, of course, uh, the private uh, par, uh, par, uh, government partnership no? na, na, ginagawa, na ginagawa natin para din magkaroon ng more access to funding. Pero ako, in my own um, personal way, uh, I've been doing a lot of um, creative products coming from Agribase because this is the only way that, that we can have uh, a sustainable supply for raw materials. Alimbawa, Uh, marami na ngayon universities uh, partnering with private sectors trying to develop products from all the crops that we have in the Philippines. Uh, initially, may, uh, I have a team, a malaking team na nag-develop na ng circular economy on how to convert all the parts of a crop into a valuable product. Dapat wala tayong tinatapon. Eh. Uh, we're, we're talking of using yung the flesh, di ba, yung balat, yung buto, yung dahon, yung truck. No, however, we can use this into value-adding products. Sa agricultural products, marami tayo dito uh, na products na, na, na nabubulok, na hindi na didisip properly, or nasa-sale na na binabenta na sa mababakalaga. Now, if we can allocate at least a percent of that, yung iba, yung, yung gonna sell it fresh, yung iba naman, we process it into high-value product and using innovation, kasi sa innovation, kasi creativity eh, di ba? Uh, tapos sinasustrike po sa market for bigger profit. So kapag ka ganun, uh, we'll be seeing a lot of more um, exciting agri-products around us. Not just for food, by the way. Um, marami na rin kami in-experimento ngayon where in using agri-products for non-food application. Like mm -hmm. me, I'm a civil engineer and we are already exploring the use of non-agri-product uh, for construction solutions. 